Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create dialog boxes and tooltips into your Game Maker project. Let's see how it uh, looks first. So I have over here the tooltip. If I press E, uh, it renders dialog boxes. You can select any of the options. Hit space key to select any of the options. And you'll notice that whenever the dialog boxes were shown, the game paused. Okay. So let's first talk about the dialog boxes, then I'll come to the tooltips. So dialog box, uh, OBG dialog parent is uh, doing everything. So let's say if you want to create a dialog box just like this, you create OBJ dialog one, <laughs> sorry, you create any object, but it has to inherit uh, OBJ dialog parent as a parent and override the create, uh, inherit the create event. And in your create event, you basically add dialog system dot add and uh, first of the first argument to your function to the add is the image text message and options so uh, you will notice the first option was okay and if you select okay it would run this uh, you could even call the next uh, option from your dialog uh, messages it's just simply by calling trigger dialog dialog system that's it so trigger dialog dialog system would call the next uh, option uh, uh, the next dialog message from your messages okay so let's say if you don't want to add any uh, image to your dialog, uh, dialog boxes you just pass undefined that is a requirement and second option is the message you can also omit the multi-select options just like this all right so that was from the dialogues uh, how then how this obj dialog came to the project let's see so you notice uh, on this uh, obj tooltip trigger i have variables so that was the text message and that was this function show dialog one so this show dialog one is defined into your triggers you can uh, basically create this function anywhere in your project and name anything you want but it has to have this let's say if you want to call the uh, dialog boxes from your tooltips so obj dialog one that is how it got spawned in your project so that was about uh, obj tooltip trigger calling a function from interaction so whenever you interacted uh, with the uh, tooltips by pressing e key uh, that is how uh, it triggered a function so how tooltips are calling uh, the function is basically happening over here in the obj tooltip object so if i go to the step event so you will notice uh, in my step event of the obj tooltip i have added this line basically if you press e key or uh, any key on your gamepad uh, of course you can define this key uh, over here in your variables and then pass in, pass them over here but I felt E is uh, a regular key in PC and like a gamepad key. And it is executing your interaction function. All right, so this is all. Uh, so let's see how to create a trigger. I'm just going to drag. Uh, also, I'll, I think I forgot to show you this. Uh, it launched uh, a debug menu, right? So in your variables, I had this anonymous function. Of course, you can de declare an anonymous functions over here and it will trigger them. So let's create our own uh, trigger. I'm going to drag this OBJ tooltip trigger anywhere in my game. Edit the variables. Hello, I from Ajinkya. That is my name. Add an icon. All right, so let's see how this looks. Hi from Ajinkya, and if I press E, nothing would happen because there is no function, okay, attached to this uh, tool. Tip. And that's it. I hope you like the <laughs> video. Oh, okay, wait, 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 there is something missing. 
I didn't show you how, how I'm pausing the game whenever the dialog boxes are shown. So uh, whenever the dialog boxes are running, so that is basically uh, OBJ dialog parent. Whenever uh, a dialog box is shown uh, in the step event, when dialog box is active, I'm pausing the game. So basically I'm running this script called of pause and unpause so you can modify this contents of the pause and unpause however you wish so uh, but i felt game paused is suitable for me i've also created a macro for this if else condition and i'm calling this uh, if game paused then exit into my game objects so for example in my enemy obj archer in the step event i am calling this game paused then exit and game paused then exit is simply just an if else condition that's it and that's how uh, you use uh, my dialog system i'm going to share a link to the itch project where you can download uh, the package and uh, if you want to know how to import a package is basically uh, you go to tools and uh, import local package that's it and then it would import this folder into your project and that's it from this video uh, if i have missed anything let me know in the comments and uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel bye bye